Hello, I just wanted to say a brief word about Trumpism and Brexit. Um, I think a lot of people, of course, are still puzzled by this phenomenon and the fact that, uh, if you like, right-wing politics is sweeping the West generally. Um, and especially the liberal-minded class, of which I'm kind of a member, but unsuccessfully so, um, are casting about for an explanation. And they've probably heard it before, but I thought I would spell it out. Um, I think the phenomenon has been building up over quite a number of decades, probably over my entire life, um, actually. Um, the West was founded on the idea of building a just society in which everybody has a say and everybody contributes and almost a Marxist principle uh, from everybody according to their ability and to everybody according to their needs. Um, despite the fact that it's kind of a capitalist, corporatist, corporatist system now, um, that is still really the fundamental belief of the vast majority of people in our cultures. But what we have instead um, are large classes or even underclasses of people who are society's rejects. They have no hope. There are no hopers. White trash, if you like. The sort of people you know who have really there's nothing they can do in their life other than drink beer, watch brain rot on the TV, breed, uh, and be unemployed for the most part, if you like. Their skills are not required. We have an education system which is churning out large numbers of people who don't even know how to please a customer in a, in a shop. Right? They, they know nothing when they come out of school of any use. The schools have been designed deliberately to produce people who are fit for being shot at in the army, or the police, or the bureaucracies of the councils, and manual labour. And these skills, frankly, are being outmoded as society advances, as automation advances. These people have literally no hope of a decent, well-paid career, which is the promise that society and schools tell them when their children study well, get a good job. I mean, I'm not really a member of those classes, and I studied well, but I'm coming up to retirement in a few years, and I can see, looking back, that really I haven't got anywhere I have just been exploited, just my skills, my technical skills, I'm good with computers, I've got a degree in physics. Society doesn't give a damn. Um, and as soon as my skills are not useful, I will be on the scrap heap, just like the rest of the no-hopers. There is little to no chance of my getting anywhere, and the same with a huge, huge chunk of the population. Um, so what do they do? They have really used their last but one recourse, the vote. If you have no hope, if the politicians are not listening to you, if they are not creating a just society but are really just fiddling with things to keep themselves happy, all you can do is vote against whatever it is the elites want. Um, to put it impolitely, the rational thing to do is to piss on their playing field. Make them listen. I think they're listening, but whether they will find a way around it, I don't know. Um, but without major reform, particularly of the education system, which is where it all starts, so that people are not just taught, not necessarily taught useful skills uh, in terms of jobs, because jobs are, I think, increasingly obsolete, but they're taught how to 
enjoy their minds, how to contribute to society, how to have a say, how to be influential, how not to be ignored. And society has to be structured so as not to ignore these people, actually. Or they'll use their last resort, which is violence. There is a final warning in these votes. Um, and the underclass has been around and growing for a long, long time. Um, even the Hells Angels back in America were members of this class. They were, they were originally uh, retirees from the army of the US um, who found that they were on the scrap heap when they got back home and nobody wanted to know after the Vietnam War. Nobody was listening to them. Thanks, get lost. You have no useful skills. Goodbye. No money for you. No decent career. No chance for making a proper contribution. So be an outcast. That was the only rational thing then. There's something to be said for it now. Say what you want. Speak your mind. The internet is now making it possible for people to speak their minds and be heard a bit to push this meme out there. Um, and clearly it's getting out there because a lot of people voted against the EU over here and against um, the old guard in the USA. It doesn't matter what Trump says or what he does, as long as he's annoying the traditional elites, he will get votes. Because the voters, most of them as it appears, have had enough of being ignored. In a just society, there would be no hopers. No, no hopers, indeed. There would be no, no hopers. And yet, the world is full of them full of us. We know we can go get a good job, I've got a good job, and in two minutes if I say the wrong thing or if my skills just become not wanted, bang, I'm out and there's nothing for me. Is that a just society? For me, I could possibly retrain. I've kind of got learning skills, although at my age it's a lot harder to learn than it was when I was younger. Uh, and it's a lot harder to persuade people that I'm going to stay for long when I'm getting up to retirement age in a, six or seven years or so. Um, they, they would probably rather hire young people who, even though they know nothing, um, are flexible or more flexible. Actually, I think some employers are learning the benefits of older people these days. Um, we, you know, we do the job and we're not insubordinate because um, we know we should take the money and run. Um, but for the people who are against Brexit, who are against Trump and are horrified by what's happened, it's because you haven't been listening. It's because society has been structured to produce and to dump no hopers. Give people hope, teach them the value of learning for its own sake, not for a job, for its own sake, and teach them values as such. And get them included in society. There should not be exclusions to society. There are some people who are so excluded they're homeless. How is that even possible in a just society? Well it isn't. Okay, bye for now.